How wow. How wow. So it does look like we need to heal. I would say so. I would say so. Um, so I'm just gonna heal everybody. Mm. Yeah. Go full it, heal. I think it's, I think it's worth it. Yeah, that was a good call. Um, dog walk time. Did we analyze it? What did, what were we, we gonna analyze? The last, the last creature. Oh, we did not. That's true. Mm. That door sure is locked. Yep. Sucks. Mirabelle, any idea where the key for this would be? I, I have I, I'm not sure. I am... Um... Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. I remember the key... The key's in the head housemaiden's office in her desk drawer. What? How did I... How did you miss it? Uh-oh! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I should have remembered! Why didn't I remember? Hey, don't worry about it, Mira. Yes, you're not to blame here. If anything, it's Sifrin's job to look out for things, so... Hey, can we break it down? It looks really solid. And the fact that it's frozen in time doesn't help. So... Are we stuck? We can keep exploring this floor, but I'm... I'm pretty sure the key for this door was in the office. If we can't access it, what should we do? You could... You could loop back to before the room collapsed, couldn't you? And explore the admin room more. You could also stay here, but you don't think there's any point. Hey, Stardust. Sorry to interrupt, but I am here in your head to give you some amazing advice. See this little icon on the top right? This is a helpful little icon to inform you that you are stuck in time. <laughs> no matter what, you won't be able to progress any farther in the house in this loop. Only thing you can do is find a way to loop back. Whoopsies! Say, though, didn't you see some tears on the way there? They might do the trick if you need to loop back easily. Come say hi sometime. I'm so lonely. Sob, sob. Do you feel sorry for me yet? Uh, well, we should at least, like, defeat the sadnesses on this floor. No, we shouldn't. The... No, we shouldn't. Why? Because you can't keep the experience for everyone else in the party. You can if you go back and save. But... Oh, you're right. That's true. You're right. I did forget that's true. The sadnesses uh, do respawn, though. Don't they? They do. So, I don't like this one, but I'm going to try the fast approach. Like try fast rats? Yeah, just, just just hit as fast as possible, but, but still make everyone faster. Um, hit. Ouch. gotta go now because uh i can't be fast anymore <clears throat> you should see. probably buff everyone's attack you know yeah yeah i think that's, that's cool. um uh go to a deal and yeah it's still on cooldown but i can do this hey nice. there you go Devil cries softly. Devil may cry. Devil does cry. Devil will cry. I think that this guy might be weak to scissors. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of just a 
it's just gonna sit there. Yeah. You could have healed them though. Could have healed someone with your heal. Oh, uh, you're right. Just for future, if you fight that enemy again. Yeah. That's true. I could like if Miracle... there's not really a point to get getting any items. Remember those don't refresh. Yeah, they do. Those... Don't they? Do? Oh, you yeah. keep those. You keep yeah, those. Yeah, as long right. as you save. As long as you save. That's true. Some tiny frozen plants. They look healthy. Whoever took care of them before they got frozen did a good job. Yeah. Tiny dying plant. This plant looks like it's dying. It looks all pathetic. Very sad. Very mistreated. Who would do this? It's mine. I was taking a gardening class before the king attacked. Oops. Crab. Crab. Right, crab. People were like, why would you eat crab? That's so weird. Yeah, that's weird and disgusting of you. A chair, different types of soil. Oh, right, the car carcinification. I'm, I'm not even going to try and say it. Yeah. Frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. This is okay. Anything in the wardrobe. Closet is filled with gardening supplies. And you got the garden scissors. You put the garden scissors in your pocket to equip later. Excellent. Let's look at our um at our like memories and whatnot. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh right, I can just like directly from here. Carcinization is blasphemy to the doctor of the chain god, yes, exactly. Right. Memory of so weak, as both can learn the skill when equipped. Oh, so that move is only interesting. I think it means he can learn it without being oh. that. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. I should be the using problem health with... items without deal. Well, the problem is so deal's so useful. Yeah. Um... I guess maybe less useful if it only ever has one type. If the enemy only ever has one type. Oh, uh, that goes down. Lower defense, slightly higher attack. Not worth. Garden scissors. Better attack. Lower attack speed. Ooh. Mm. I don't know. I feel like attack speed is very good. Because mm -hmm. Zifrin going a lot, I feel like, is good in the cycle. Sadly. Um... Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's not useful for him to go a lot. It's really only useful for him to go a lot if it's a scissors weak enemy. Oh, I have... Wait, memory of self. Oh, shit. Interesting. I, I didn't remember getting this one. If we interact with a door that needs keys, we can learn where the keys are. Uh, you were telling Hearth about this today because we joked that all animals become crab and all plants come from brassica. What's brassica? Tell me the tell me about the brassica thing. Yeah, I need background on that. <clears throat> I can't. Oh, rude. Interesting that I can like go into this menu though. So presumably there are crafts that I can use out of this battle out of battle it's frozen in time oh that's that's one of the house's cooks she was in the gardening class with me she was taking the class to learn how to grow tasty vegetables she often made soup with the veggies she made he once she said she needed some help bringing apart a turnip she grew to make it into soup so we told her to bring it to class and we'd all help her and next class she brought the biggest turnip i've ever seen she had trouble even fitting it through the door. We spent the entire class trying to cut it. That it was that big. <laughs> uh, how was the turnip? Oh, it tasted awful. But since she's a cook and really particular about taste, we have to act as if it was delicious. Thank change. I was taking an acting class too. <laughs> Great. Brass, <clears throat> brass and cabbage stuff. So like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, etc. All from the same plant. Whoa, that's wild. Huh. Broccoli good. Broccoli good. Uh, Sci-fi planet where every animal is a crab and every <laughs> vegetable is a brassica because they just won. I got a bunch of tonics because this room is a mess. Yay. 
Wow, there's no place to pass through with everyone following you. If you try your best to pass through the tight space between your allies and the tables and the wall. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> A stool, but there's only one, so it'd be rude to, rude to sit down. Okay, I don't want to fight that one again. I don't like that one. We haven't fought these ones. I think you did, just, in fact. Just like kidding. Them. It's the same one. It's this guy again. This fucking guy. Get out of here, this guy. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think I kind of just want to make it back to the save point at this point. Yeah, I think um, I think you gotta go fast, right? This is yeah. this situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta go fast. Try and heal deal to keep her alive, but also you. Mm. Okay, I have a suggestion here for what you should do. That was a smart call. And mm -hmm. then you give your turn to Mirabeau so that she can so that she can then use the either the attack up or her own paper attack. <laughs> Foreshadowing room layout puzzles. Yeah. Um You know what I mean? I'm gonna use Kong. Uh, oh, I should have slid it down. It's fine. Isabeau's not super useful for this, you know? Mm, I, I don't know if I agree with that. He's probably the least bad option to get got here. Yeah. Oh, it can Just attack. It can oh, shit. Attack. We found out. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the same point. Oh. Oh, right. It was in this room. Oh, everyone was healed. Perfect. So I could kind of I farm think it's just the, the craft room. skills and experience that get saved, right? No, but you save the items with you. Mm-hmm. Even though you're giving them to Bonnie. It doesn't make okay, never mind. Don't Alright, you better about it. Yeah. Alright, All right. time to die. I wanna see what this one is and Okay, it's just one of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. 47. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go heal and then touch the forbidden fruit. Yeah. Sounds good. The nasty bean. The nasty bean. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? We're all agreeing on that? Mm. We're all agreeing mm. it's called the nasty bean? Mm hmm. We're going to all call it that from now on? Yeah? Mm hmm. Look at it. It's such a nasty bean. had to touch the tear because of that um <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah uh-huh sure uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Hey, it's Stardust. Wow, you opened a floor's gate. Good work, good work. If you manage to open a floor's gate in the future, when you loop back, you'll be able to get to that floor with most doors open by using memories. Pretty useful if you're too lazy to find all those keys again. To unlock all those doors, press X on this map screen. Do it! Do it! Well, okay, not now. I'm talking. Okay, now. Oh, interesting. So if I press... It says Y. I would do it on the highest one, right? I can't. Oh, interesting. So you could either go to that one with the... No, what? Well, why would you go to floor one? You're gonna have to fight the boss again, right? I'm just like use five minutes to loop forward with all doors opened. So that was the last floor, right? Now you're on floor oh, two. Oh, so I could go back to the save point, but have have the, all the doors unlocked. The yeah. door going forward opened. Interesting. Well, the doors on that floor opened. Isn't it okay? I don't think I understood what the what was being said. I, it's, so you can either go back to floor one where all the doors would be unlocked or loop back to floor two where they won't be mm. unlocked. All the doors on floor one would be. Right. You wake up. You don't exactly dream when you're frozen in time, but it's similar or more like it's a slice of a dream stretched into minutes, hours, days, a single thought concept forever rolling out like taffy. You dreamt about bananas. Ready. All right. Let's All go. right. We're just going to bypass everybody. Uh, let me just, con yeah, everyone's 47. Cool. All right. Uh... Ah! How do we do the thing where we... Is it an X? This time, we get key. Though, it might be a bad idea to go forward. Oh yeah, the sparkles are there. I don't know why I thought those were the paper. I See, I thought you might have thought that, and then I was like... No, you would see that they go under the paper. And then I was like, uh, no, That's I don't want to be part of the paper. A, I don't want to be a backseat gamer, you know, <laughs> and like tell you something. And then you started leaving. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. We got more dialogue. The yeah. head house maiden's massive desk drawer. You start looking for the key. So this is the office of the head house maiden of the house of Dorman. She's wonderful. She manages the house and makes sure everyone is happy and fulfilled. She organizes a lot of events, too. She's also a great crafter. She always creates wonderful items that make everyone's lives easier. She taught me so much. Most of the craft skills I know, I learned from her. She was the one, wasn't she? The one who was supposed to... Yes. She's the one who was supposed to defeat the king. The king was too strong and attacked out of nowhere, and now I don't know what happened to her. When I fled the house, the king might have already... Don't worry, Mira. If she's that strong, I'm sure we'll find her safe and sound eventually. Yeah. Positive. I have to stay positive. Mm. Ah, stars... There was a key hidden in there. It was taped to the underside, so you missed it before. You blinding idiot. You found the rock key. Hmm. It's because there's a rock. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a hand in the rock position. How fitting. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the rock key is located. Amazing. Rocky. There comes the rock. There's nothing important in that right? Remember, remember. Oh. I wonder if even if you touch the sparkles, it would have been a scripted event for you to miss that key. Maybe. You know what? There's you a lot right. of dialogue for it. Yeah. 
Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. You don't want experience, Claire? Mm, I want key time. Key you time don't want to fight the, the super door. annoying movie? Bye. <laughs> Oof. More dead people. I, this, frozen it's people. It's going to be the person. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Someone frozen in time. Oh. This is... I don't know. Oh. I've seen them around sometimes. I think they're someone's partner. Someone's bonded partner, even. Look at their earrings. Aren't they bonding earrings? You look at them. Their left ear has a beautiful dark dangling earring, and the right ear, a simple transparent one. Are those bonding earrings? You're not familiar with what that is. The earrings have different but complementary designs. How romantic. I wonder which half is theirs. I feel like the clear one represents the better, so maybe that's the one their partner made? Do you think we'll see their partner somewhere in the house? Yes. They might have been looking for each other when the king attacked. If we managed to beat the king, they'd get back to normal and look for their partner. They'd start running, trying to find them. Flower petals in their wake. And then they'd see each other from across a hallway, eyes locking. They take one step forward, hesitantly, wondering if this is real. And then... And they trip on a brick and break their nose! <laughs> and their partner, seeing the blood, would faint in horror. And then they feel so bad that they made their partner faint, they'd exile themselves in shame. Ah, yes. How romantic. It's not. Stop crushing our dreams! What's a bonding earring? You suppose it's not very important, but... But you might want one with Isabel, you know? But you, you know, you might want, you might want, to, find, you might want to find one for Isabel. Yeah? Oh. Someone frozen in time. That's the librarian. Were they a good one, Mira? Uh, oh, yes. They always had good recommendations if you're looking for something. And they have a sixth sense for knowing exactly what kind of book you'd like to read at any given time. They're the one who recommended The Cursing of Chateau Castle to me. And, well, to everyone else in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that book series you're a fan of. Yes! I'm incredibly thankful to them for that. Uh-huh. It's a good series, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. I'll make you read it one day, Madame Odile. Uh -huh. Try to convince the others instead. Is it? It has romance, right? Yes. Sold. <laughs> cute. I like that dynamic, too. That's really... I like... It's a, good, it's a cute dynamic. Yeah. See, I just... Is a bow top tier for me, I think. Most of books that has been checked out of the library. Odile is looking intently at the list. A pile of lists of books that have been checked out of the library. Odile is looking, okay. A book that seems a little too heavy for the table it's on. This book is massive. It's called the Complete History of Fishing. Huh. Odile takes the book with two hands and hits the table with it. Do that again. Please! <laughs> Crab, yeah! <laughs> Indeed. I'll take this one. Odile got the heavy book. Oh, she's going to hit people. Hell again. yes! Yeah! <laughs> A fishing book. Fishing Nolo. It's called Ichth Ichthyology, and I am not studying it. Boo. <laughs> Fishology. Fisiology. I also love romance obsessed Isabeau. It's cute. I do see the sparkles. Uh, Don't worry. Okay. Sorry. Don't... 
<laughs> I'll get there. I'll get I know, there. I know. See, this is the thing. Is this is the way that you look around a room? Is mm-hmm. to go to everything else everything, but the and item. Then look at the sparkles. You know. Right. And so I that's see, why I, I was like, oh thinking. yeah, you're just doing yeah. that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you know what? I would have been. Uh, okay. How to not make a fool of yourself? A journey. Tick Soul Emperor Four. The Soul Emperoring and Cursing of the Chateau Castle issues forty to forty eight. Ah, uh, this is the same set of books. Okay. What about this one? Uh, theater script. You gently touch the back of a Vogardian com- comedy you remember liking. Ah, oh, don't worry, Sif. You'll be able to see some plays soon. So there's, there's something I've always wondered. What is it, Pony? Well, um, you know that stage play friend brought us to before we got the last orb to open the house. In it, the main characters. The two men kissed on the mouth, right? Ah. Oh, Jones. Shush, I want to hear this. And so, um, when people kiss on the mouth in plays, they don't really kiss, right? They have some transparent paper in between so their lips don't touch, right? What? What? Uh Uh-huh. What? (laughs) Yeah, Bonnie, they definitely have paper in between. Huh. (laughs) Yeah, I knew it. No one would ever kiss someone on the mouth in a play. Not in front of everyone. Not in front of everyone. (laughs) Oh, that's really good. Boniface, this is why you're my favorite. (laughs) Oh! Don't make me tap the sign. The sign is the Mass Effect bad graphic I made of Claire avoiding the ob- objective to do a lap. That was so good. <laughs> There's a crumbling poem on the ground. You pick it up. You got the crumbled poem. All right. Let's look at... Okay, let, first off, let's look at um, Odile's heavy book, which would... Oh, it's just better. It's just better. Right? Yeah. It also boosts attack, but plus one. Oh. I don't know if that's worth it. How often do we really use our deals? Like, but here's the thing. She is also the only paper wielder. Yeah. It might Uh be. I think it's bad. might be worth it. Might be worth it? I think it's worth it. Even though you couldn't use the paper as much. If you could use her paper, her attack paper, and it would be stronger. Hmm. Yeah, I think at these early levels, and by early I mean 47, um, I think it'll be worth it. But, like, I think, like, there'll be, like, the plateau, right? So I think... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. We'll, we'll switch when we get the next book for her, you know? Oh, let's see. Boost defense and attack speed. Oh, interesting. Huh. Um, so the ones I have boost attack and crit chance but lowers defense okay so defense would go up attack would go down attack speed would go up and crit chance would go down hmm. so attack would basically go down to where it was before you equipped the heavy book true but more defense but, but more defense. less crit chance but more attack speed I, I feel like I would, cri- I would do it. You would do it? I don't know. I Six percent crit time. chance is like one in twenty attacks. Oh sure. I guess the the crit chance is like a big deal. Cause like crit, yeah, that's fair. I think you're double? probably right. What's the multiplier on crit? Is it just a two times? Because it's if it's just a two times, it actually might not. In be Pokemon, right. it's one point five, but I don't know what it is here. Mm. Yeah, because it would have to be times twenty. Actually, yeah, no, it would have to be times twenty to be worth it. Um, but remember, we, there is the boost to crit chances as well. There, there is the what? Well, one of the people has a skill that boosts crit chance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, just that's a, true. Just so like it could go mind. up even further. Hey, you I know, just can't help but notice that the equipment that Isabel carries is earrings. Mm-hmm. And that there are bonding earrings. I've just needed to 
you know. Mm -hmm. Just needed to say that. Just need to make sure we all know. Yes. I yeah. appreciate it. Anna worries. I kind of think... God. Like, we're getting up there in terms of health. I kind of think it's worth it now. Up over plus five to everything? Plus five to everything is so good, Claire. Yeah, but not crit chance or health regen or experience rate. Just like, I, I mean, luck and attack speed are maybe like the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only like 30 right now. We'll so. get to the point where memory of looping is better, but I don't You're think right. we're there yet. Right. Uh, important details. Okay. Bookcases filled with books about the house change. So, the House of Change is the name of the belief, but the house is the name of the place. And there's more than one house in Vogard. And the house is where people live. Such a confusing language. No, it's not so bad. It makes sense. Huh. If you'd like to know more about the House of Change, yes, recommend me a book. Let's be quick about it. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. I think you should try this one. The life-changing magic of changing yourself. This one's a little abstract, but it is all about our beliefs and the change god. Living while striving for change within ourselves, while keeping our ever-changing god in our thoughts. This book explains pretty well the belief that a lot of the people of Vogard live by. Hmm. Interesting that you only have one deity. Easy to keep track of, I suppose. Oh, yeah. What do you have in Cabo, then? We have gods, spirits, expressions. The nuance gets a little lost in Vow Guardian. Expressions for everything. So, how many expressions do you have, then? A dozen? A few thousand. Huh? What? So many! Do you have to keep track of all of them? Of course not. You only have to pray to the ones that you need. So for me, the expression of search, the expression of writing, the expression of creator craft, and lately, the expressions of battle and victory, I suppose. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I hope the expressions in the change god bless us in our journey. It's neat. Cool belief yeah. system. Uh, bookcases filled with notebooks <clears throat> of all shapes and sizes. They look kind of out of place here. The, you point at them and look at Mirabelle. Oh! They're diaries, Sifrin. Diaries in a library? Oh yeah, you guys do that in Dormant, too. It's popular in Jovent as well. So, so, you know, how our belief encourages change, right? Sometimes, when people change, they might not feel any attachment to the people they were before. Or they might want any trace of who they were to just disappear from their sight. And so some, house, uh, some houses let it widely known that you can give away items that remind you too much of who you were. Like diaries. But those items... Aren't they given away to be disposed of? Most items are, but diaries in particular are usually kept by houses. It's common knowledge, though. I personally find it weird. Even if I change that much, I wouldn't want people to read my thoughts. It's more of a gesture, right? Letting go of your past self. Names and any obvious signifiers are erased by the house anyway. But mostly, it's about history. Isn't it fun to be able to pick up a diary written by someone a very long time ago? See big historical events from their perspective? More than giving away a part of who you were, I think a lot of people actually give their diaries away, so it's like, look, Mom, I wrote a book that's in a library. Huh. I can understand that, then. Huh. The idea of anyone reading your deepest thoughts, even years in the future, completely removed from you. Gross. Again, Vogard is weird, but also you love drama, so you happily pick the gaudiest, sparkliest diary you see. Oh, this one looks fairly recent. We could read a little bit. 
like a tiny bit. We do not have time. Is what I would usually say, but I'd also love to think about boring, mundane, everyday problems for a bit. Dear Diary, save us from thinking about our problems. Bell, pick a page! One page, and then we're going. I, I, I'm reading again? Okay, um... Everyone huddles around her. Mirabelle takes a deep breath and opens it straight in the middle. Okay. Do you want to read this? I will read it. Mom told me to clean my room today. I hate cleaning my room. My room isn't even dirty. Why doesn't she understand? Erg. Also, if Dad noticed, no one can say the name of the island north of here anymore. I tried to say it yesterday, and I got, like, the weirdest headache for hours. Might trick my friends into saying it tomorrow. The rest is just doodles of a little girl laughing uproariously. Ah, the island north of Vogard. I remember when it happened. Well, uh, remember isn't the right word, is it? We all just know something happened. An entire stretch of land disappearing from people's minds doesn't happen often, does it? I, I think I think my village was really close to it. My sister said it was all everyone could talk about for weeks. That's so frightening. I'm glad that whatever happened, she didn't get caught up in it. Oh, yeah. Still, that country's name. What was its name again? Oh, I think it was something like... Don't say it! Crab! <laughs> huh. What an interesting diary entry. Uh, for a sec, I thought expressions was going to be like Darmuk and Jalad at... Tanangra when the walls fell situation. I am not familiar with this. I don't know what you're referring to. <clears throat> getting close. <laughs> it's like, get, go over there. You're getting close. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. We can just do a dance. Uh-huh. Claire doing everything possible to make this longer than any of our main games. <laughs> any of our Mr. Forward games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bookcase is filled with random books from novels to picture books to massive research essays you see the side of the bookcase shine slightly there must be a key somewhere maybe inside one of the books which book should you examine steppy steppy cooking effort the key to meaningful change running from your pro running from your problems or pass I mean I, kinda I mean it's obviously going to be in the key to meaningful key. effort. I kind of think. I kind of think that's a. I think that's a red herring. You think it's a red herring? I think it's a red herring. I think running from your problems. All right. You open the book. No key. I was wrong. This book seems to be about how to get a better running posture and better endurance. Madame Odile could use this book, huh? What does that mean? J just that you're not very fast, is all. And you get tired easily too. Maybe if you kids could stop running everywhere you go. Huh, Sifrin. You quickly look away from her glare. It's okay, Deal. I can teach you how to run good. Yes, madame. Take lessons from the kid who puts their arms straight behind them while running. I want to see you do it. It is a very interesting way to run, Bonnie. But why? Another kid in Bamboosh said running like that was air no no might. <laughs> air no no might? Air nanomic. Oh, right. That's how it would be said, yeah. Air nanomic. Air nanomic? I don't know that Vogardian word. Me neither. What's it mean? Uh, um. It means. It means the wind doesn't matter and I can go fast. It's air no it's air no nomic. Ah, uh, do you mean erg <laughs> Do you mean ergonomic? Do I? I hope not. That's not how you use that word. It's not. Nope. 
But running like that makes me faster. Does it? It does. Okay. So Deal should run like this too. I I'd rather not. Ah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's good seeing one episode of Watch. Yeah, aerodynamic. So, yeah, like, that... the alien says Dharma and Jalad at Tangra when the walls fell, and that means a whole ass thing that Picard has to figure out. Oh, you're, I you're see. You're missing a message. Yeah, I'm reading up. <laughs> <laughs> not my, not my, no. uh, not the mm -mm. way to read Twitch chat. Mm mm, mm mm. Oldest to newest, or newest to oldest. I see. Uh, oh. interesting. interesting. Bonnie does anime run, it does see. Yeah, Bonnie uh, Naruto runs, and everyone wants Odile to Naruto run, too. So true. We should find the key. Yeah, we should do that. Um, let's try the key. Yep, it is inside the key one. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right, well, I was overthinking it. Uh -huh. Inside the book titled Effort, the Key to Meaningful Change, there's a key. Pretty on the nose. You found the paper key. Ooh, the keychain dangling from it is shaped like a hand in the paper position. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the paper key is located. Run, 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 run. Banana phone. Do, 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 do. So we got the rock key from there. Oh, God. We got the paper key from there. And All right, so fight time! The scissors key, new, right? new, new enemy. Oh, okay. Paper. So, just um, well, yeah. Let's just let's just try out how much defense it has. Okay, it's pretty it's pretty weak. I think we could just do. Um, you probably your turn uh, on Sifrin, yeah. right? I was actually gonna do a deal because I think her scissors is pretty powerful. Wh okay. <laughs> One uh -huh. health, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Um, we went in here, right? Yeah, this is the. Yeah. Wow, it respawns. It sure does. Uh, wait, not Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek Next Generation Voyager is the. Jane way one. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, gosh, man. Ugh. I can't believe yeah. you did it. You don't know Ugh. you don't know your Star Trek? Wow. <laughs> I've I'm a Star Trek expert. I've seen <laughs> part of the original. That's true. You actually know more Star Trek than I, I do. I do, yeah, because Damn. because my uh, one of my friends and I we did a deal. We made a deal. Um, we made a deal with the devil. They uh, they watched Star the Star Wars. Wars animated TV shows and I watched Star Trek. The original George series. Lucas was like, I'm equal to three of me is equal to one of who the fuck made Star Trek? That would be, oh, what's his name? He has a, there's like a guy and he's like he has famous a name. for making Star Trek. Cool. Yeah, he, he has a name. <laughs> cool. Star Trek guy. Some doodles in the, uh, Gene Roddenberry. Gene Roddenberry, right. thank the you. The conversion rate is one Gene Roddenberry for every three Steve. Honestly, <laughs> that's the just the length. George like, Lucas. <laughs> quality wise, it's all over the place. Yeah. Okay, I see. I, I would trade a, Rod, a Lucas for a Roddenberry a lot of the time. You know, it depends. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. It's a nice classroom, isn't it? Wonder what classes were taught here. <laughs> I have bad memories of this classroom. Why? Did you have a bad class in this room, Belle? Uh, no, not... Um... It's... I gave a class here not too long before the king attacked. You're a teacher?! Gasp! You never said! No, no, no! It was just one lecture, I, um... The head house maiden... She said it would be good for me to give a lecture... A lecture on... I'm... Uh, I'm well more known in Dormont's house for being the housemaiden who has taken the most classes. Taken the most classes? Like, as a student? How many is that? <laughs> Since I came to live here, I think I registered for a little more than 150 classes? 
Huh? Maribel! You went to school that long? So she wanted me to do a lecture on what taking all those classes taught me. And... And... Should we drop it? Yes, please. Oof. Oof. Interesting. Ouch. Star Trek and Star Wars are doing very different things, yeah. but also sometimes they're doing very similar things, it turns out. I know Especially the original series. It says, no snack eating in this room. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Bonnie chomp on an apple. Wow. Yeah, so true. Mary Belsa, fuck those student loans. I'm going to be a student forever. <laughs> so true. I, yeah. Thinking about my parents' friend who was in school for 20 years. He got a law degree and, I think, a doctorate. Um, wild shit. The is filled with... Uh, about many, many random uh, books about many, many random things. There's a book about something called Bonding Earrings. Bonding Earrings. Isn't that what the frozen person on the way to the library was wearing? You pick up the book and flip through it. It's pretty dry. You'd rather not read it, actually. Sifrin? Are you curious about Bonding Earrings? You nod. Do you not have those where you're from? You don't? We have bonding earrings in Kabui as well. Let me explain it for you, Sif. You see, Sif, when people love each other very much... Oh, 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 I want to know what happens when people love each other very much! No one ever told me! Is a bow. Many things happen, and then maybe they'll decide to get bonded and spend a very long time together. When they do, they'll start making a pair of bonding earrings. They're supposed to symbolize the other person, so the design is very, very important. And if the bonding is between three or more people, you'd make as many earrings as there are people. And then you exchange earrings, so they'd each carry one of the earrings. I know it's not practiced everywhere, but it definitely is in Vogard. Not everyone does in Kabui, but it's popular there as well. Not my kind of thing, though. Oh, so is that why you all wear earrings? Huh? What do you mean? You point at Mirabelle, Isabeau, and Bonnie's ears. No! That's not why we wear earrings! Those are just regular earrings! Yeah, um, that's... My sister said I had to wear them. Well, it is very common for people to wear earrings, but it's not related. Uh, Mirabelle, Isabeau, and Bonnie all look at each other. Is it related? I'm suddenly worried. I haven't met a lot of people without earrings, even if they're not bonding earrings. It's true that I know very few Vogardians without earrings. Is this why we wear them? As, like... A way to get us used to the idea at a young age? A thing we gotta do because adults said so? Evil manipulation to force us to get bonded as we age? <laughs> I suppose every country has its own weird, antiquated traditions. I guess so. It's kind of funny. Ew, 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 ew. Mirabel seems genuinely upset at the idea. Maybe you shouldn't have brought it up. Say something. But your earrings all look nice, though. Aw, you think so? You nod. Isabeau hides his face. Uh, anyways, your earrings are nice, Mira. They make you look cute. I like my earrings because I'm gonna hang things on them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that got me. Yes. My earrings do look nice. And they were expensive. I'll throw them away dramatically another time. That's the spirit. Hmm, maybe you could go see that frozen person again in a future loop. Uh, polyamnormal uh, that's great. I do have to know, though, do, does every person get, like, one, like, do you wear, like, three earrings? Like, like, I have, like, five earrings, for example. Um... Probably, or do right? you like exchange in like a way where everyone gets two or one? Because it probably actually depends like... on the probably depends yeah. on the, the group of I would assume it's probably You're right. 
That's that probably like a personal choice. I feel like it's more common to do multiple. Also, I will say wedding earrings, um, or I guess bonding earrings. Um, I think earrings are better than rings. I uh, made a similar thing up in uh, Bree's tabletop game. Uh, and I think it is a good uh, vibe. IMO. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, agreed. Proven uh, right by video I like game. The, I like that we, yeah, we, we came up with this independently. Uh, they did say that everyone makes one. Yeah, so you would make one for your partners. Then it would yeah. Be a, yeah par each partner. Um, Do you think you make yours and then give it to the other person? No, you make you the, you it make... for the other person. Interesting. To wear yourself, I think? You make it representing the other person to wear yourself, or do you give it to the other person? I think right, it was like, you, do you both make, make two one and then you exchange for them. the other person that represents them. Hmm. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of ways of, of doing it. I imagine that's the most common, though. Yeah, probably. probably there, there, there's probably, like, a mainstream way. Now uh, I'm just thinking... Yeah, well, who's on first? first? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just thinking, is is there now... Do we now have to consider, do we wear rings because of wedding rings? Because that's the equivalency here. Hmm? People don't... I feel like rings are much less common. Rings are fairly common. I guess, yeah, that's true. Anyways, a uh, list of student names. Not all of them have first and last names. Huh. The student has one, two, five names. This is a Vogardian practice, as I recall. Having more than one name? Yeah. A lot of Vogardians have more than one name. Usually it's one masculine name, one feminine name, and a free one for good measure. But some parents just go wild and give more than that. I had a co-worker with ten names. The many names represent our capacity for change, our power to evolve, to become someone new at a moment's notice. And if you decide to change genders or become someone different than who you were before, you already have a name ready to pick out. This is... lovely, actually. How Vogard's goal of change goes even as deep as names. I have another name, too, so I feel a little closer to Vogard at this moment. You do? I want to know, I want to know! I'm curious as well. If that's okay. <laughs> if you tell me yours, I might. Unless that's frowned upon. Not really frowned upon. But some people might keep it secret for personal reasons. That's why not everyone on the student list wrote down every name, see? I wouldn't mind telling you, though, Madame Odile. I'd tell you, but I forgot mine. My sister's the one who remembers. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. I wanna keep them secret. Trans, 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 trans. So true. I'm just saying. Yeah. Because if I do change again, I don't want you already uh, to already know how to call me. Again. Ha. Ah. Confirmed. I want it to be a surprise. Oh. Of course. Then let us keep our name secret for a little while longer. Ogard is so weird. I love that we just get to be Sifren, who is like always kind of the odd one out. Uh huh. Is I this different. No. I forget my name all the time. I think this is. Have we seen everything in here? Um, not these papers. Various school supplies, but I guess I, we haven't looked at the desk though. Uh, notebook titled Mark Super Awesome Great Amazing Super Duper Cool Notebook Do Not Touch. Out of respect, you leave the super duper cool notebook alone. Makes total just, sense. Did we get everything in here? What was in here? Let's see. You got super sweet tonic. You give it to Bonnie. Okay. Clearly, I did not check the desk. A desk with an open notebook. It was very lovely handwriting. Oh. I recognize this handwriting. This is the seat of a very stylish, very scary lady with amazing fashion sense. She often wore this very cool dress, and she always has her dark hair in a bun. I think she's the one in the city. Mmm. We have to go to the same classes, but she probably doesn't know I exist. I'm a little sad about it. I always wanted to ask her for fashion tips. This vaguely rings a bell. You should maybe tell Mirabelle about her when you're in Dormont. Right. Interesting. Empty desk. Desk. On it is an open issue of The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 32. 
Uh, I think I've I think I've done everything now. Oh right, we got everything. did we get a key? Was this where the no? This was earrings. That was important to me though. Yeah, that was important. I thought I could believe that. Uh, After this we fight, need... we'll take a break. Yeah, we need to take a break in five minutes. So. This is scissors. So I'm just gonna smash. And then, honestly, I'm just gonna rock. There you go. I wanna rock. Ah, rock. Da, da. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe there'd be a room up ahead. But yeah, let's take a, All right. let's take a break. And we'll be back. Back to view.